Hey guys, my name is Christine Chen. I am a direct producer from a few things for the Louisiana Film Prize. I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about what it means to break down a script and why that is important because my responsibility is to create the most efficient way to film, uh, complete a film. Surprise, most films are not shot in order. It's shot in the most efficient manner. So we group locations together, we group time of day together, we group different actors together. This time and money is always very scarce when you're making a film. You'll know that when you start making your own film. So I'm going to share my screen uh, and show a program that I use to break down a script. Now you don't have to use this program in order to do a breakdown. This is just a tool that makes it a lot easier, but you can do it the old fashioned way, which is to take a script and you underline things in different colors and you know block them together so when you have a script every scene as you see here like slug lines this is what we call a slug line Sierra West Hills University night time of day every slug line is labeled with a scene number if you're in a screenwriting program usually it will automatically do it for you and uh, having the scene numbers and knowing what you're gonna shoot because everything's out of order is really important. So uh, first thing is make sure that you have your scene number. So when I'm first breaking down a script, I go through and I look for time of day. This is important because when you're scheduling something, you're going to be scheduling it according to what time you need for, for lighting. So for example, if it's a daytime scene, you probably don't want to schedule that scene for nighttime. Or when you are shooting at night, it's a lot more difficult to shoot during the day when you're trying to shoot something for being at night. So pretty common sense. Um, so I go in and just take note as to what time of day something is. The other thing I go in to do is I break down the characters. So in my scene three, for example, I have two characters. I have Michelle and Kelly. So in the casting spot, I group together Michelle and Kelly. Um, other things I look for is props, things that go inside your script. So if the script says there's a chair in the scene, somebody needs to bring that chair, you know, um, if the location doesn't have it. And those elements are broken down and added to the, to the breakdown. And here there's other stuff like hair and makeup, if there's any special costuming or uh, special equipment. The other big important thing that I grouped together is story day. Story day is what time period in the script that something happens. So you could have 10 scenes and those could all be part of day one in the story, for example. So the reason why it's really important is because when you're shooting out of order, you, you have to remember if that person had a certain kind of makeup on a certain day. In my script, in this script, so scene one through 10 were all part of day one. And that is really important because within your day one, your characters may be wearing the same costume, for example. And in the day two, they're wearing something different. And so noting that will help your different departments know how to do the wardrobe and hair, makeup, costumes, that type of stuff. So once I have everything broken down and have that information, that allows us to kind of rearrange creatively to make the most efficient schedule. One of the things that takes the most time in a day is traveling and moving your entire cast and crew to a different location. It's crazy, you could have the same house and simply moving from upstairs to downstairs is a whole ordeal. Um, so I try to group together, for example, if, if, if I'm in a house and I have four different bedroom scenes, I'm going to shoot everything I can possibly shoot in one bedroom scene before I switch to a different room because there's lighting involved. You can use the same lighting, um, which minimizes the time it takes to set up something. It's just a lot more efficient if you group things by 
locations of what you shoot at. So as you can see here, for example, I try to keep everything from day one back to back to back to back. Because if, for example, I scheduled it and did this, this means that whatever wardrobe the person's wearing from day one, they're going to have to switch into a new wardrobe for day seven, then switch back to a day one wardrobe. That's super inefficient because you want to only change the actors and put them in that makeup once. You know, switching them back and forth, especially when you have special effects makeup, wounds and stuff is very time consuming. So this is the most efficient way because now I have only one wardrobe change um, between seven and one. In addition, I'm in the same place. I'm in Mirador. On top of that, I've scheduled it based off the time of day. So my first three scenes are all daytime scenes. And then later throughout the day, I'm doing nighttime scenes. So this should coincide with the amount of time in a day that I have. So looking at this, it, it says I have about one, one eighth page, two pages. So about three pages that I'm shooting in the day. I need about five hours to shoot during the day. And that's, that's plenty of time. And then when the daytime starts to turn to night, I'll already be on my nighttime scenes. I know this sounds really boring, but it's like super, super important when it comes to scheduling because um, moving a group of people from location to location is very difficult and time consuming and costs a lot of money. And so keeping them all in the same block really, really helps out. Those are, that's kind of how you break down a script. You just go through a script and you look for different elements, locations, time of day, characters, props, hair and makeup, if there's any special costuming or uh, special equipment. And again, the whole reason for this is so that it's easy to know how you want to shoot everything. I'm going to go back and just review it one more time. So here's the breakdown. So scene six here, I go in and I read, this is Gretchen, cool. That's one of my characters. So I put Gretchen and then I've got frat guys. So my extras, I have frat guys. I've got Michelle, so Michelle's there. I've got uh, Michelle wears a charm bracelet. So see how that's highlighted, the charm bracelet and it belongs to Michelle. So I, I have that. Myra is in this scene too. It, it can get kind of complicated because sometimes there's scenes where characters don't talk. So those are very easy to miss. You really need to go through and read the script in a lot of detail and just scan for all this stuff. And I know that this is day one in my, in my script. So this will still be day one of my script, which means that whatever wardrobe change they're wearing is day one wardrobe. So if there's anything special in the wardrobe place, you know, I would just identify, hey, costumes, it's day one wardrobe for everybody in scene six, basically. I'll just go through one more example. Um, so here, here, we just shot this. This was a difficult day. It was 13 pages, which is, luckily it was just a lot of dialogue, but it, um, here we go. Uh, we've got, see how everything's grouped by day to avoid any changing of clothes. And then see how day six is all one day. And then we have night two. It's grouped this way because two of those scenes are in the hospital. So it's in the one, same spot. And this chunk up here is all the same location. That's why it's grouped like this. And then here we have all the characters that are in that scene. And it's okay, we don't have a program like this. You can literally just do it with paper. It's the same thing. It's not as difficult when all your actors are all your friends and you know you can just call them and they can just come over and hang out and do, do, do your movie. It gets really complicated when your actors are coming from all over the place. So we have on our film set right now for uh, Secrets of Story to Row, for example, we have actors coming from LA, from Atlanta, from Oklahoma, from Alabama. And so each day that they're staying on your film set is money that's going out the door because you have to pay for them to be there, plus hotel stays, plus food, plus room. So you want to be able to group your characters together so that they're working for a block of time. So 
Thank you. If you have any questions, you can always ask me. Bye.